Twitter is underwhelmed. So well, you get you know, hurt, right? hundreds of thousands of dollars if insurance isn't going to cover it, and then it may or may not work. I mean, if you tell me it works, and if you put out a thing say you can pay me, if it doesn't work, we get our money back. Boom. Then, major, then gotta... uh, major, uh, major guide down. Uh, you know, I mean, this is uh, this this is uh, look, look at these numbers. Uh, look at that. So they said for 2022, we're going to do 14 to 16 bucks versus 18 or 19. Oh wow, this thing going to one 160. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Lulu is March 10th. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Two, three. Wow. That is freaking 30 minutes of rant and teaching. Okay. Hope. You got guys like that. SPX is down what 50, somewhere in the 50, 40 to 50 range. I don't even know what it is. Uh, your, your number is very straightforward here. It's uh 4531, 4500, 4481 gets it in trouble. Uh, if Amazon misses and we close under 4500, 4400, very doable. Then we see and then we see. Okay, upside obviously, Qualcomm is the best. Qualcomm and Google are the two best to the upside, everything else on the downside. Okay. Uh, SPX to the upside, 4621. Facebook, uh, 250, 248, 241, 232, 232, 232, 232. Uh, 232. Uh, uh, hold on a sec. I got I to gotta take this. I got I to take this. Hold on a sec. Omid, can you talk for a minute? Omid? I'm here. Yep, no problem. Go ahead yeah. and talk to him. I mean, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So, like Sam was saying, I think uh, to the upside, uh, Qualcomm and 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 Google are best if you want to hedge, right? Uh, just in case, like we we said, you know, do they come back and you know buy buy the market at the end of the day? They don't they don't have to necessarily come and buy, uh, you know, Facebook or some of those other names, but uh, you know, it's it's possible. I mean, when you kind of scan the market. In, in general, it you know it looks like um, everything is in red. So today could be one of those days. You know, I don't. I'm not necessarily seeing. Okay, Omid, I'm, I'm, I'm back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It's 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 ice out here in Dallas, and when somebody calls you that may need help, you you answer. Okay. Uh, so uh, Facebook. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how far it drops. Uh, Nvidia. 252, 261, 262 doesn't seem to be able to come, doesn't seem to be able to hold. But if semis roll over, this thing's probably going to go back to 209, then we see. Lamb Research, uh, 621 up, 571 down. Under 571 is a deep dive. Qualcomm, see if this takes out 192 right off the bat. I think if the market really craters hard and Qualcomm gives you an entry at 190 for this week at, say, Let's, let's say it pops to 182. There may be a few available at about 50 cents or 40 cents on the 190s. And if it really goes, it becomes a grand slam. Then we see, and then we see. Okay. Uh, AMD, 122, 129, under 115 would be a tell. Boeing, 209, 211 accelerator. Uh, Avago, trying to run, trying to run, 609, 621, back to 572 is bad. Amazon, 2710, 2500, But the numbers don't matter. It's all about Amazon. If they stay split, I think it can go up 400 plus. If they say prime up, it probably can hold them and maybe go up a little bit. And then we see. This is if they miss. If the, if the number is a miss and they don't do a split and they don't do a prime raise, I think 2,500 possible. I would say the possibility of a prime rate hike is at least 50%. Wow. The probability of a split is 10%. And then we see. Snowman, 281. 281. Shopalicious. 781, 700. Am Shop can go all the way down to 700 if Amazon drops 300 or 400. Wow. UPST, 122 beast. Now, looks like you just wait and wait on it. Again, 
Moderna down a little bit, trying to break lower, 161. Google, 29.72. Tesla, this one's ugly. This one got right there, and it just dropped 50 points after an 80-point move. This one's ugly. Be careful. 8.32, down. 9.44, up. Okay, do you expect <clears throat> Snap and Vince to follow Facebook in their earnings report? I would probably think so, but I don't follow those, so I don't know where they are and if they've gone down enough or not. Then we see, and then we see. Uh, same thing happened to Peloton when they can't track and suggest their apps. Absolutely. Uh, business is all going to shit. Absolutely. Change your business name. That's what you do if it goes to shit. There you go. Very nice. Uh, so here's the thing. When a great report like Qualcomm, beat, raise, everything else. When something is great and it doesn't go up, that's a tell. Okay, that's a tell. Uh, then we see and then we see. Uh, would shop be a play up or down on Amazon? I would think you could do shop both ways on Amazon. I would think so. Then we'll see. Let, let's go see. Today, really only interested in one thing at the open. So, so then we see Biogen looks ugly, 191. Uh, Netflix numbers, Netflix. Uh, starting back down, starting back down 400 uh, becomes an issue there. Uh, you think supply chain can hit Amazon? Anything can hit Amazon, okay? Amazon has so many big issues, okay? But and Amazon has one other thing that all these other people don't. They don't care about profits. They don't care about profits. So if they don't uh, care about profits, they just say, oh, own our stock. If you want to buy it, buy it. If you don't, don't. Then we see, then we see. Uh, did Amazon say they're going, Prime is going up? No, I don't know. Uh, is Qualcomm down because of SPX? Yes. <clears throat> In my opinion. That's what we know. Wow, long call. Thanks, everybody. Everybody have a great train day.